Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a, a little trick um, to model this cladding so you can create some nice uh, render. Okay, so this is not for real project, but uh, yeah, it's only for you know for some presentations. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. Um, w A some more and a roof. Okay, so uncheck the slope. Okay, attach. So now we have the this building, and uh, uh, I'm going to change the wall to maybe generic wall, and. Uh, Maybe change the picture a little bit. Okay, so that's the building. So for a uh, for a real project, um, so we usually just use some material, some pattern. That's enough. But uh, if we're doing some render for some presentations, um, I'm going to show you how to make it uh, more realistic. Okay, so create a a curtain wall here. So select one of the modeling, unpin, edit type, duplicate. I'll create some uh, thing 10 by 50. Okay, so thickness 50. Oh, no, 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 10. Uh, maybe 50. Okay, so um, 5, 5. Offset. 25. Okay. Yep, so that's the one. And then another panel. I'll do the edit type, duplicate. Um, this one I'll call it uh, empty. But uh, this is not actually, it's, it's not real empty. This is a system empty, okay? So I just call it empty, empty. So it's still you can't um, have nothing here. You must have something. So I'll just change the material to maybe uh, air for now. Okay, and then thickness maybe ten. And okay. So now select this curtain panel again. Or oh, actually. Before I change edit type, I'm just going to load the real empty panel. So, because for now there's no empty panel in the project, so this is uh, this is the one we just created, but not true empty panel. So what we need to do is go insert load family. So it's under curtain wall panel. So if I go up, so you see. It's on the curtain wall panel, and then this this is a true empty panel. And open. So now select this curtain wall, edit type, and then go uh, curtain panel. So you will find this. So not this one. So this one, empty panel, empty panel. Yeah. And here, so we are going to change the vertical grid. So from maximum spacing to fixed distance. So for example, this one, I'll make it for 50, okay? And horizontal, none. So I'll vertical volume, change it to 10 by 50, 10 by 50, 10 by 50. Oh, actually border, border, I'll just leave it for now, okay? So these, horizontal one, none. And uh, okay, and then we'll, we'll ask, um, do you want to delete the horizontal grid? Yes, please. And then still, there's some volume here. And just select um, delete DE, DE. Okay, so this is the one uh, we need. And also, we uh, we need to go to floor plan. Just have a look of this curtain wall because uh, see this is exterior. See this one on this side means this is exterior and uh, this model is on exterior side which is correct so make sure all these wall so select one of them so exterior yeah 
So now what you need to do is select this full wall and change the location line from wall center to uh, finish exterior and then Ctrl C and Ctrl C and uh, modify and pay, uh, align to same place okay and then without click any, anywhere so still have these four uh, walls selected so and then so go down uh, I think I've, I, I didn't create new one I, I, I still use this one so that's fine just change to this and really will ask you or do you want to um, you have to delete this panel because you can't use empty panel for these okay so it's fine I'll delete type replace panel and then we will replace this panel with system panel which is system placed that's fine I'll just select all because some I might use uh, some system panel for my windows maybe so for this one I don't want to use the same material or same panel I can just select all these in this in, um, in this exercise because that's only this only I can use select all SA select all SA and change this to the empty the, 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 the fake empty we just create so at least this panel these panel this system panel empty will uh, will have the diff different material to um, to the um, the other system panel so okay so when you if, if you render or you can even select them and hide them or you can in the in your render so if you use like because um, I use I usually use Lumion so I can just hide a certain material so so you can do that so um have a look at these so probably we need to uh, extend them so we can do it because it's all it's also attached to the roof so it's just detach all and just adjust the height to match the height of the roof this one same detach and then just and then just edit profile and pick the roof and trim and okay <clears throat> so now okay so the walls uh, I won't I, I will not repeat that side but um, I think it's okay so the roof should be the same so I'll copy one roof from here and change this roof to a sloped glazing and for this one I'll just duplicate I'll click a new and curtain panel same empty 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 panel empty panel okay and I'll just use grid one I guess this should be uh, grid one and then change this to fixed distance 450 450 as well and grid one more than 10 by 50 10 by 50 and 10 by 50 and okay so that's it so and then you can select this roof control C and play uh, align to same place still have this uh, roof selected change that to the new and you probably need to uh, Move, uh, move the roof up so just go to the side view and then move it to the top of that roof okay so now we have this so just look at this side and also you sometimes uh, you probably need to adjust the uh, to align them yeah so for this one for the roof I'll probably just change the center and this wall I'm going to change it to center as well so they will align but if if they, they don't allow if they don't allow you can you can manually type in number so you can to align them okay for this exercise you don't need to because it's very a uh, re uh, regular shape and also make sure because this is curtain wall curtain wall will trying to uh, join with the norm other walls and so I will recommend just re right click on this point this this allow join okay so just click on the curtain wall this allow join same here select this wall curtain wall this allow join so 
this will um, re reduce the possibility that uh, you're having a lot of join issue. So okay, so that's you know, just one more something like this. So okay, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I want to the other side, but. Uh, so I'll sh maybe I'll do a quick render, see how it looks, and then maybe change the material as well. So just ch click on the wall, finish. That's fine. I'll make maybe just make find a. I'll just create a new material, okay. And maybe go there, find some metal, metal. Dark color metal, maybe. Ah, this one. Um, uh, just this one. So, okay, and okay, and okay, and okay. So, the roof as well, edit type. Okay, okay, okay. So, now SD. So, yep, nice. Oh, maybe we need to change the material of this as well. So, edit. What's the name? New, new wall. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, still not 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 perfect, but uh, I think should be enough. So then you can just do some render. Oh, is this um, render? Yeah. Um, yeah, should 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 be should look nicer than just use the material with some um, bump or yeah yeah. What do you think? Okay, so I'll stop. That's it. Um, I I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, once again, uh, it's not. Um, uh, I won't recommend you to use it in a real project. Try not to. Okay, so it's only for some presentation, so nice render. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.